mention the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I hear crackling up here. Oh, your boy, uh, Kyle just took his radical out. Going out of pit lane, the, the rear wheel just got <laughs> Oh, yeah. So today was much better than yesterday. Um, when we got the car out this morning, fixed the coolant leak, which was actually the back of the water pump, got that sorted, um, made sure everything was okay, took it out on the track. I spun it out first corner, because that's what I do, I go way too fast right off the bat. And then kind of found the car. It was going amazing. We brought it back in again. We switched drivers. Steve took it for a rip, who was able to do it a lot faster than I did. And Unfortunately, he spun out in the grass and knocked the uh, support for the skid plate loose. Um, that was dragging on the ground, not a big deal. One bolt, we put that back up again. Um, but because we stopped without actually letting it um, run its cycle, it, it overheated, gurgled a little bit of water, we bled the system again, went again, and then we popped another hose off the cooling system. And that's the problem, too many things going on, not a big deal. We had an absolute blast, and when that car comes in to boost it is incredible so um, a few more we'll try it again tomorrow we're gonna put the skid plate on this afternoon we're gonna go out for lunch uh, with the other youtubers hopefully they didn't start without us um, of course they wait for the boss garage but, but anyway <laughs> we're uh, very excited today was well worth it uh, even Lou uh, took a look at the car when you got one of the one of the best racers around looking at your car going over the whole thing going that this is incredible that's uh that's pretty cool so thanks for watching um lots more coming up so stick around here we go Bungee jump, this is. Wow, Andy, I can't believe you got that from Salvage. <laughs> <laughs> He's a funny one. Let's see if you're still laughing when well, you get back. Oh, Jesus, look at that front splitter. That's like something off a Panzer tank. <laughs> what, so what was the that will race? take your legs off. I don't know. Yeah, it's used for cutting grass, dude. That is a cutting grass. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Any issues? This is, this is just your run of the mill V8 Audi. We just changed the spark plugs. And, you know, yeah, it looked look like you just got bit. it straight from off a dealership. Yeah, it's yeah, got some good yeah. tires on it. So. Yeah, does it still have Quattro? <laughs> it's still the Quattro. So what it is, we shoved an LS in the front. Here, come take a look. Yeah, I think I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> so we have two sponsors, a recycling plant for scrap metal yeah, that's good. and an that's auto recycling. You always need one of those. Yeah. yeah. So what we did was we got... A 1990 Audi V8 that has 400,000 kilometers on it, which is like 300,000 miles. Yeah, almost new. Yeah, almost new. We gutted the whole thing, replaced every suspension part, every bushing, and then put a 4.8 LS in there with two 2RS two Borg Warner compound turbos off of a Power Stroke diesel. Where are they? In They're the in the back seat. seat. Oh, see the back oh, seat. Um, so those are a couple turbos to help you out. Have you seen this? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think I have a boost leak because I can hear a little whistle and so unfortunately the boost isn't coming in as soon I'm as I'd it, like. It must sound like a bloody missile coming yeah. in. We put an O1E six speed Audi transmission in there Yeah. and what I did was I shaved all the ears off of the bell housing uh -huh. and then I shaved the back half off of a GM bell housing and then welded the, the bell housing of the GM onto the Audi. So it has a twin disc McLeod clutch in it, but we drilled out the hub for it, and my machinist made a hub to fit the splines on the Audi transmission. Wow. So it's still full Quattro all-wheel drive. Uh, the alignment was done two degrees negative camber, 
Um, a little bit of toe out. It handles phenomenally. I, I can't wait for you to get in. Wow. But it's not a sort of car. I'm not going to lie to you. No, I'm. I'm the first time I took hiding it out my of second, excitement. Really. Well. <laughs> <laughs> So the first time I had it on a second gear was the drag races at this event. We had too much snow, we couldn't even drive it in Canada. Mm. So, wow. You're still gonna drive it, right? I'm ready. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. So, one thing. Oh, um, is it? I thought. No. I thought we were on number lit okay. point number ninety-seven. So, so okay. on the on the twin disc uh, McLeod, the yeah. intermediate disc has a dampener on it. Yeah. And it didn't fit inside the bell housing of the Audi. Okay. So we made two dowel pins for that intermediate plate to. To, to not make it move, but it has to slide, right? And I think when I shut it off, it binds. So if you want to start it, like you have to put it in gear first with yeah. your foot on the clutch and then start it. And then as soon as you're moving, yeah. all the all the shifts are fine. So um, that's the only thing, six speed. Six wow. speed, um, reverse, top left. Yeah, and that should be it. Um, coolant be is your biggest gauge in the center of yeah. the iPad. Uh, I've got it up to about 120, no issues. Just okay. keep, just put her down. If you break it, I'd be honored. Yeah, no, no, you I, broke I, it, not yeah, me. Yeah. So, but get the fastest lap, okay? Yeah, well, I, I don't know about you. You look like the kind of guy that might might, might do daredevil things. And yeah, 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 funny. yeah. I, does anybody have a lap time for me? Lap time 131.9. Oh, that's terrible. Did you see that? oh, that's terrible. Did you see Look. Look at that. It looks like the bowels of a ship. <laughs> so, this is an intercooler off a of Duramax diesel. Um, the radiator is right underneath. Um, yeah. That center pipe that brings all the air back into the engine is actually a piece of drainage pipe that we cleaned up. Because yeah. the three, three inch pipe is expensive. You've got to look after your sponsors. Yeah, we polished it up. It looks good. Wow. So, um, Full scoop plate on the bottom. No, yeah. I have no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, I'm ready. <laughs> You're ready? Okay. Yeah. What do I think what about right now? That this? these guys do a lot of drugs. That is good. Can we direct that somewhere now? And it's too cold in Canada, so they don't date women. They just, oh, a load of guys go into a locked room and come out with a car like this. It's basically what I'm thinking right now. Do you know I retired from racing because of my family were a little worried about the danger angle. And I'm doing this. It looks good, though. Quattro. I'm about to do my last Instagram. <laughs> Ever? <laughs> Ever. <laughs> oh, f What? I didn't say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I've got so much, you've told me so much, I think I only, it only needs to be experienced. Yeah, the, the brakes work, the work, brakes work great. I'm excited. I, I don't know. I, I don't think I've been as this excited for anything in a long time. The names down the front of everyone that's died so far <laughs> in the making of this car. I'm ready for it. This is going to be good. Okay. Good, yeah. Okay, the smoke <laughs> <laughs> what happened coming down the back straight yep i actually went into fifth yeah because you know it's you yep. can do fifth here too yep, can't yep, you yep. going down the back straight fifth i struggled with your gearbox on the, you yep, know i hadn't yep, quite yep. got it so yep. i thought i'm gonna i'm just gonna eat it back off early and as i backed off suddenly i heard this felt this wall, wall of sort of heat come towards me from behind and then uh, the window did have some specs on, okay. which I figured was just cooler, yeah, yeah, because uh, they weren't there when I came in. Right, you know what I mean? right, so right. it went, uh, and that was it. And that was it. Okay. No, but no funny noises, no bang, no, no nothing. No. And then you just coasted back. Then I just drove in. Okay. Yeah. But I had a feeling something was going on. That's why I came. You know, I was like, yeah, yeah. something. Oh, the car oh, felt like different. I can't okay. put my okay. finger on it, but no, it's I was like. It didn't. It was time to get out. Like the okay. The yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean, I was yeah, like, yeah. maybe something hose has come off. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sorry about that. Yeah, no, no problem, Justin.
Fuel pressure's okay. That could have been the warm air too coming if you blew a boot maybe. Any idea? No. No, not at all. Uh, he got suited in the car, took it out for a rip, and uh, on his second lap, the frost bug blew out of the back of the head. <laughs> Nothing that I did. Uh, it's unfortunate, but um, that's just the way it goes. It's funny though, I was going in saying it's not, something's gonna break, and we're not gonna win because it's just, we don't have enough time to sort it. Like, I, I don't have a team. It was basically me who built it with a lot of help the last uh, two weekends and a pile of help this weekend, just finishing up the odds and ends. But basically, um, I got the car running and moving under my own, like, on my own time and, and my own effort there. And that's a lot to build a car from scratch. So I knew things were gonna break, but I expected the axle to break or the bell housing to act up or the clutch to act up. Um, something to those effects maybe issues with the cooling or the uh, like the back window blowing off that's as solid as a rock that didn't break the stuff that break was a brand new water pump and brand new frost plug in a reconditioned head that that had literally no hours on it or no no miles on it so that's disappointing but it is racing um, Justin understood he uh, he wasn't thrilled when when he felt that heat go over him because you don't know what it is. Is it fire? Is it a hot coolant about to spray on you? And that sucks. But he did compliment saying that it handled really well, and the car does handle really really well. Uh, I didn't notice the understeer, but I forgot to ask Justin um, if if he noticed understeer with it. Um, the uh, the brakes and he definitely complimented the brakes. The brakes he said were right there and it would be a fun car if it was sorted. Now, this isn't the end of like yes this car was the end of this. It was built for this project, but it's not like we're gonna park it in a parking lot and say well that didn't work. Um, we got a lot more events lined up for the Audi and uh, we'll just fix what's broken and take you guys along for the ride. Um, we're gonna try and hit up some. Uh, different makers for fuel systems and maybe a better fuel cell. Uh, we had some stumbling issues and uh, Cletus there and Adam LZ said that was definitely fuel. There was no way that it would run that good and then all of a sudden fall on its face without a, without a fueling issue. So, and when I turned the pump on afterwards, uh, we took it to a car show last night at uh, Aces Bar and Grill in Orlando. When you turned the pump on, it was making all sorts of different noises, even though the tank was like three quarters full. So we'll get those issues figured out and then keep going with it. So this is just kind of an update video for yesterday. You won't see an actual finished edited video which will be either a one, one or a three part series because there's literally 80 hours of footage to go over, multiple cameras running at the same time and it takes time to edit those videos. So. Um, we're all releasing them at the same time, which will be closer to when Ferretti releases his. And you'll, you'll, by now you'll probably know who won and who lost. Um, but we had a fantastic time. It was 100% worth it for us just to think back that I built a car from a scrapyard with mostly used parts on a shoestring budget. The, first day that I actually got it out of second gear, I got to do a half mile event with it. The second day I had the car running and moving, I had it on the bank at the Daytona International Speedway and we had a faster time than the McLaren there. The third day I had a professional race car driver driving a car that I built. and. The feeling of that is like nothing else. Yes, we did not win, but we had some good fast laps and we did not overheat, which my, my all the cooling and having the radiator at the back made me, it was all worth it. It was staying cool. It's just a frost bug blew out. It happens, it's racing, that's the way it goes. So stay tuned for the videos. Thank you very much for watching and for rooting up for us. Um, thanks for all the nice comments. Um, it's not the end of the Audi, but it's also the channel's not about the Audi either. We're gonna we're gonna try and sort some stuff out while working on the other projects. Uh, 
the C10, the GTO, and the Mercedes are all coming up quickly. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Here we go.